We study our subject, studying the history of Europe during the 18th century. The 18th century will be the end of the old regime, and that's what we are going to study, the old regime. There you can see a map, this is a map, a European map, around the 18th century, the beginning of the 18th century. You can see there a lot of different countries, not actually countries, kingdoms, republics, different states. Of course, these states had a lot of problems. There were kings fighting among themselves and they will be fighting for boundaries and limits of their countries. And then during the 18th century and so on, they will be fighting for colonies, for different colonies. They will be fighting in America and in Africa. The most important powers in this period will be these new empires, Holland Empire, France, uh, the British Empire. And there are other countries, other important powers in the past, as the Spanish Empire, that are getting less and less and less power. Nevertheless, you can see here on this map, the, one of the biggest powers is the Spanish Empire, uh, established in America, North, Central and South America, and certain areas in, the, in Asia, Philippines. What we know is the European powers, the European countries, are the most important countries in the earth, in the world. China is full of population, but it's a country that is underdeveloped. It's not so technically or military developed as these European countries and these European countries are expanded, expanded around the world. Because of that, they received, they import and export different goods, different products. For example, they uh, import uh, different textiles, clothes, uh, pottery, glass, and they, at the same time, they are creating and exporting different materials. For example, for example, weapons. The most advanced technological weapons are located in Europe. So they started exporting other places or alcohol, small objects, luxury, luxury objects for elite for elites from other from other countries. It existed a trade, a slaves trade between Africa and America. But the owners of companies, of course, they were Europeans. They used the ports, the European ports, to send to ship away different uh, luxury objects, luxury goods, and using these ports they received and they imported goods from different areas. For example, they exported uh, weapons or jewelry to Africa and then they exchanged these materials for slaves and these slaves were exported to America and in America they were sold and with this money they imported different goods from America for example raw materials or sugar uh, fruits different vegetables and they were imported into Europe so thanks to this trade the popul population in Europe grew up and grew up very quickly so you can there see in that graphic from 15th century the population is more or less stable and since the beginning of the 16th century it has started growing and growing and the biggest growth happened between the between the 18th and the 19th century we will see later how it will be increasing and increasing and increasing